Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. Leo, we're doing your reading. This is going to be for the beginning part of September. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus in the sign of Leo, this could resonate for you. Keep in mind that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened for you in the past, something that happened for you in the future, or something that's happening for you right now. If it doesn't resonate at all, go ahead and check your other placements your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right. I'm going to do a Celtic cross to go ahead and check in on your energy. So let's do it. I'm not, I'm going to clarify with this deck. I want to use this deck, but I'm going to clarify with it. Let's use this. My ultra deck. I haven't used this deck yet for anybody, so Leo, you'll be the first. All right, let's go ahead and check in with Leo and see what they're showing up as in this spread and for the energies of September. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. And boy, have they been guiding me tonight. All my readings have been on point point with confirmation. So, ooh, Leo, you're showing up as the Seven of Swords, politicking. Two-facedness. Ooh. Wearing a false mask. What's up with that? Um, traveling. Eight of Wands. So what's crossing you right now is um going somewhere or trying to get to a destination, possibly. This could have something to do with what's going on in the world. There could be difficulties for you getting around. I just saw the fool was supporting this friend. Uh, the miser, four of pentacles, somebody holding on to some money. Um, possibly owing some money and not wanting to pay it. Show me the recent past. Eight of pentacles. Somebody could have been feeling bored in here in the recent past or working too much then we have the moon crowning the spread past lives what's the future energies tuning in four of cups somebody's going to be dissatisfied with something here in the near future all right so how is leo seeing themselves nine lazy <laughs> leo don't get mad at me I always but my daughter my sisters are leos i always call them uh lazy leos <laughs> y'all like lions y'all like to sleep y'all love y'all sleep and y'all leisurely time but that was funny that this came out as laziness but this is actually the nine of cups which is which fulfillment here that's how you're seeing yourself what's in the environment or how others are seeing leo thunderbird bolt tower huh somebody's shocked about something shocked about you somehow Oh, I'm getting that. Also, somebody thinks that you caused them to break down or cause the disruption in somebody's life. Control, King of Swords. That's your hopes or fear. Hmm. Show me the outcome. Abundance, King of Pentacles. Dang, the King of Pentacles has been coming out a lot tonight. Three people had that to, in their reading tonight. Three, the King of Pentacles. Cancer, Aquarius, and now you guys. All right, let me break this down and tell you what's going on real quick for you, Leo. So it looks like Leo with this uh, Seven of Swords, also politics and this Osho deck, um, that you feel like you can't possibly be your full self with somebody or in a situation I feel like you feel like you can't tell somebody the total the whole truth 
if that's not the case, you could be trying to keep something from somebody or keep somebody from finding out something. There's definitely some type of sneaky or secretive energy happening here, especially with the moon being right on top of it. Both of these cards indicate somebody, something unknown and somebody like something unknown and secretive. The eight of wands, somebody could be coming towards you or there's been something that's been set into action that you cannot stop at this time. But you also feel like you possibly cannot be honest about it. This could have to do with some money. Somebody might be asking you for some money and you're like, I ain't got it <laughs> right now. Or somebody's asking you for a favor or to do something from them for them or to take them somewhere. Or to go somewhere with them or for them and you're like, no, I ain't going to be able to do it. But you're not coming right out and saying it because you got the seven of swords here. Somehow you're trying to get out of it. Then we have in the recent past. Eight of Pentacles. You could have, like I said before, you could have been feeling bored and things are just too ordinary or plain. <laughs> so you might have tried to spice things up here by, you know, being a little secretive about something, throwing a little, throwing a little salt in the game. With this moon card here, I'm definitely feeling like you're dealing with somebody from your past. This could be somebody from a past life. Or you could be dealing with some type of karma from your past life here. Or some type of karma from your past life is about to come into play for you here. With the Four of Cups, you're definitely not going to be okay with what happens in the future here you're gonna have to do some more soul searching here in the future some deliberation is what i'm getting all right you're looking at yourself as wish fulfillment like you're gonna be getting everything you want in this situation or with somebody There could be some type of shocking situation in your environment or somebody looking at you like you shocked somebody, like they're surprised that you did something or would do something. I'm hearing lie. Somebody's surprised that you lied about something or deceived them or led them on to believe one thing. And then with the King of Swords over here and your hopes or fears, I feel like you're hoping to control the situation. You're hoping to control the narrative here. That's what I'm getting. And with the King of Pentacles and the outcome, I do feel like you're going to be successful in this, whatever you're trying to do here. Ooh, this just took a lot of, out of me. I'm feeling some negativity here. Like something is not on the up and up here. And I don't know if this is you doing that. Leo, but all right, let me see. What did I just say? You're going to be successful here with your politicking or whatever you're doing over here. Show me the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess. By you not speaking on something with this high priestess here, I feel like that's what's letting you get away with the situation. Page of Pentacles. So yeah, I'm hearing somebody trying to act brand new when it comes to money. I'm definitely feeling like something is smaller than what somebody tried to make it seem like. Or you offered up something smaller than what somebody needed. And somebody's looking at you as being stingy. Show me the eight of pentacles. Three of wands. So in the past, somebody might have been waiting for something. Waiting for something to work out. You might have been waiting for something to work out. 
I'm definitely feeling like this has a lot to do with money here. Somebody could have been waiting to start work in order to pay you back. get one more on the eight of pentacles seven of cups so yeah there was definitely something confusing here in the past that somebody was waiting for that has to do with money i feel like you were saying something and then not saying something you might have went silent on somebody who had asked you for something here in the recent past show me the moon Five of Cups. Oh, somebody's having some regret about it, though. Show me the Five of Cups. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was waiting patiently for something, and now they ain't waiting no more. It don't seem like something didn't pan out. The fruit wasn't ripe. Show me the four of cups. Temperance card. So yeah, you're probably going to be trying to um, uh, rebalance the situation out, temper things. Make things right again without admitting faults at the same time. Show me the nine of cups. Leo, I definitely feel like you're trying to get away with something here. Knight of Swords. So yeah, you're you're gonna end up speaking your truth because it's just gonna be your truth. Show me the Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Ooh. So, yeah, this might end up uh, severing ties with somebody. You might end up severing ties with somebody. I'm hearing a friend. Or somebody severed ties with you. Show me the tower. Who the queen of cups. Dang, you might have hurt somebody's feelings here. Leo, show me the Queen of Cups. Why, why, what is going on here? The Magician, oh my God, Leo. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like there was a lot of manipulation going on here. And this caused, um... Something, something shocking for somebody. They didn't expect this from you. Show me the King of Swords. But you were definitely trying to get control over a situation using possibly some lies, manipulation, and not being all the way on the up and up. Show me the King of Swords. I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to say politely, feel free to reverse the energies as necessary. And cross watchers, this could have been what Leo did to you. In my sarcastic voice. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. This was not. This was the King of Cups. My bad. King of Cups. Which makes me feel like you're possibly feeling bad about what you did. And now you have the Queen of Cups. Damn, this could have been something you did to somebody that you really cared about. Somebody that was like probably like maybe a family member. It was somebody that was close to you. Possibly a mother. Letting go. Mm. Somebody let the situation go. Show me the eight of cups. Also, you have 888 on this board, I believe. Mm. 
No, only two eights. Oh no, you do have three eights on the board because you got the eight of wands, the eight of cups, and the eight of pentacles. So look up that. That's abundance. I don't even, you don't even have to look it up. I can tell you right now, 888 means abundance. And look what's here. The king of pentacles, abundance. This is possibly why you're feeling bad because you have more than enough to share with this person, but you didn't. Show me the eight of. Yeah, you were you were uh doing some other shit. Playing around, messing around, um, trying to get something for nothing out of the situation. That's what I'm getting. Like with the Knight of Wands, he just wanna stick it. <laughs> I don't know why that came out, but that's just what came out. All right. I'm going to get you some romance angel cards. Even though I don't feel like this was really a romantic read. This was more about somebody owing somebody some money. Or somebody acting like they ain't got money. When somebody asked them for money. Somebody might have been in a sticky situation. And you were being like manipulative. Or something like that. Trying to get something out of the situation. Because you know that you could. And you know that this person possibly needed you. All right, show me what I need to see for romance for Leo. Wedding. Oh, shit. You about to be getting married, Leo? This could have been your partner that you was going to marry or that you married. Or something about a wedding. Show me. I ain't see nothing else in these cards that have to do with marriage. Marriage. Trust. Oh, somebody trusted you. Damn, and it was, mm. I'm also feeling like somebody feels like they were close enough to you. This could have been a, a partner because you got the king and queen of cups here. Somebody felt like they were close enough to you to trust you and you let them down. Man. It's safe for you to love. Okay, that was too much. Give your relationship a chance and release your ex. That's a whole nother storyline that I'm getting that didn't have to do with this, but I feel like somebody, uh, if this is a storyline, I don't know. A backstory could be that somebody's dealing with some trust issues with somebody that they're supposed to be in a really close connection with. And they feel like somebody's being deceptive. I heard having your cake and eating it too. All right, let's get some Moonology cards from the Moon Goddess. Spirit guys to know the ancestors. Adjustments are required. Somebody's gonna be doing some backtracking here over their words. Trying to make things right. Surrender to the divine. This could be some type of divine connection here. Or somebody could somebody's um intuitions or moral compass could be telling them to do the right thing here and that means either apologizing or i don't know just doing the right thing a personal issue reaches resolution work through your fears i was definitely getting some fears too work through your fears all right leo if you want to ask a yes or no now the time would be to pause the video and ask your question these cards do have yes or no responses in it there 
There's a yes right there. All right, I'll go ahead and move forward with the reading. Recovery. Mm -hmm. That's what this tower moment is. Somebody got to recover from this. Yes, came out. It came out on the split. It came out now. Success. Yeah, I already said in the reading that you were going to have success. You were going to be able to get away with something. Something worked out to your benefit, but morally did it work out to your benefit. And then choose a new direction. Oh my God, if that ain't telling the truth, I don't know what it is. You know what you did or whoever you were dealing with or you, whatever the case may be. Somebody knows that they need to go back and do something different than what they did. Somebody needs to retract their steps or um, apologize or something like that. And I'm having deja vu right now. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's crazy when that happens. Anyway, Leo, I wish you the best in this situation. I hope things work out better. I hope you do what it is that you're being guided to do. Your intuition is telling you to do the right thing. Um or the person you're dealing with, I hope they are able to do the right thing towards you. I wish you guys the best on this situation. If you watch this video for this long, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Can't hurt. Um, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free for you. Um, comment down below if this was your story and you want some advice or you just want to leave your story down below. I'd love to read it. I want to see how it resonated for you. Um, if this didn't resonate for you at all, share it with your on your social media so some other Leo might be able to benefit from it. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you next time.